deal is not the solution to climate change. It's not even part of the solution. In fact, it's part of the problem. The solution to climate change won't be found in political posturing or virtue signaling like this. It won't be found in the federal government at all. You know where the solution can be found, Mr. President? In churches, in wedding chapels, in maternity wards across the country and around the world. Mr. President, this is the real solution to climate change, babies. Climate change is an engineering problem, not social engineering, but the real kind. It's a challenge of creativity, ingenuity, and most of all, of technological innovation. And problems of human imagination are not solved by more laws. They're solved by more humans. More people mean bigger markets for more innovation. More babies will mean forward-looking adults, the sort we need to tackle long-term, large-scale problems. American babies, in particular, are likely going to be wealthier, better educated, and more conservation-minded than children raised in still industrializing countries. As economist Tyler Cowen recently wrote, on this very point addressing this very topic, quote, by having more children, you're making your nation more populous, thus boosting its capacity to solve climate change, close quote. Finally, Mr. President, children are a mark of the kind of personal, communal, and societal optimism that is the true prerequisite for meeting national and global challenges together. The courage needed to solve climate change is nothing compared with the courage needed to start a family. The true heroes of this story aren't politicians, and they aren't social media activists. They're moms and dads, and the little boys and girls that they are at this very moment putting down for naps or helping with their homework, building tree houses and teaching them how to tie their shoes. The planet does not need for us to think globally and act locally so much as it needs us to think family and act personally. The solution to climate change is not this unserious resolution that we're considering this week in the Senate but rather the serious business of human flourishing. The solution to so many of our problems, at all times and in all places, is to fall in love, get married, and have some kids. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.